Hello everyone, I uh, just started a new world in 1.8, so it's called the New Lands, and let's see what I can do here. So i got a crafting table, just started it, so let me uh, get a couple more sticks here, throw down a crafting table. that right there there we go so I've got a pickaxe and an axe get rid of that and let me I spawned right here in the middle of a pine forest tall tree. Okay. Collect that sapling, collect that sapling. I spawned right over there and and uh, or was it it was right around here. Pretty much right here where I'm getting these trees is where I spawned. And I'm right next to a I guess this would be a ravine. I'm a uh, random mushroom. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. I don't really know for sure with any amount of certainty. The light is... Ah, here we go. Some coal here. But I think it's a ravine. It's, it's kind of a big crack in the earth. So, I'm not sure exactly what they consider a ravine to be, really get some of this cobblestone too so I can start making stone tools at some point there we go got some torches and yeah, there we go plenty of light And I'll just mine out the rest of this coal. Go. And move up through here. Oh, right next to a big ocean. Hope I'm not on an island. Let me throw down my crafting bench real quick and get. There we go. We got a sword, stone sword. Come back here, pig. There we go. Gotta get some meat going on here. Food is important, so really gotta get after these pigs once you, uh, and they're not giving up their meat very well. Wow, look at this. Wow, weird, look at that. Up a bunch of meat here. 
And I can find some sheep. It's really, it's really easy to get experience points. So I don't know if they're going to change how many experience points things drop, or maybe you just have to get like a crazy amount of experience points. Oh, good thing I didn't hit that wolf. Neat forest here. Where did I spawn? I don't know that I'll be able to find it back to my spawn point. I hope I can. I think I kind of, if I go back this way. Ran the wrong way, buddy. You ran right into me. Okay. There we go. So if I go back this way, yeah, I go back up here. This is just headed back toward my spawn area. Wanted to build a little house over there. Down some more wood. I've noticed in 1.8 that the mushrooms are very. Uh, wow, look at that weird looking tree there. I've noticed that mushrooms are very. Uh, common, I guess you'd say. They're much more common than they used to be anyway. They're not extremely common, but uh, a, little bit, a little bit more so than they used to be. And I knew I spawned right next to that ravine. I just gotta find it. Guess I could die and find it again. <laughs> But I don't want to do that because then I lose all my stuff that I've already collected. Oh, look at that tree. Kind of formed without a, a bottom on it. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like there's some uh, a few bugs, a few glitches in this terrain generation. Uh, al new The new algorithm is very cool, but I I feel like there's some bugs in it. I know there's no snow and there should be snow. Pumpkins. Cool. Come here, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkins. Go. Go. Hmm. An egg. Another egg. Wow. It's my lucky day. My lucky egg day. Yeah, yeah I have no clue where that <laughs> ravine was. A bone. So there's likely skeletons lurking in that cave. Noted. So, is it getting dark already? Oh no. Feels like I just started. I'm just now finding a sheep. Come here, sheep. Give me that wool. You better give me another wool. You didn't give me a wool. No fair. I did find another egg though. Eggs are extremely. Extremely common in this game. Do I have enough wool to make? Yes, okay. So. 
Let me throw down my crafting bench again. And I'm going to make a shovel and a bed. And I'm going to uh, dig a hole right here. to block this off. There we go. Put down my bed. Sleep for the night. And hopefully I won't have any... There we go. Sweet. Look at that Enderman dying. He died before he could get to me. Seal that back up like it never happened. These mountains are interesting over here. I wish they had uh, mesas, so like uh, kind of mountains like this with. Uh, broad flat tops, you know, plateaus, mesas, kind of a more of a mesa type thing than a plateau though. It's what I would like to see. Let's see how many of oh, these I need to eat. Gosh. Several. So I can already tell that this is gonna be 1.8. You're really gonna have to. You're gonna have to be looking for more food. Food's gonna be more important in uh, 1.8, and I think that's why they made it stackable because you're gonna have to really uh, stay on top of, you know, top of your health. So. Anyway, I never did find my spawn point. I'm go back over to this. A bone. Get back, creeper. Huh. Collect up that dirt. Another creeper. Creepers everywhere. That's what I don't like. If you don't get to bed early, it uh, gives the creepers a chance to come out and play. And then they hang around for a bit. So. Look at that pumpkin down there in that, that little hollow. I'm just going to leave that there. He's a happy little pumpkin. Living his little life there in that hole. So uh, I'm not going to bother him. I'm just going to leave him alone. Go down in this hole and back out the other side. There's that crooked uh, L-shaped landform there. Oh! Here's something. Is it a dungeon? Oh yes. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Oh yes. Ah, oh, wow. A music disc. Some wheat. Cocoa beans. Bucket. Definitely need the bucket. 
take those iron ingots as well. I'll leave the rest of that for now. That's cool though. I've already found a dungeon and it's right here just sticking out of the side of this mountain. Very cool. Close to my spawn point even though I don't know exactly where my spawn is. Um, I know that it's close. Although with beds, especially in the single player world or any world where you you got a, a, a constant presence, the the uh, the spawn point is kind of irrelevant now because you can set your spawn so easily with a bed. So really, all I need to do is find a place I want to build and build there and put my bed down and never pick it back up. Mm, I would like to find it though. I know what I could do. I could die on purpose. But I hate doing that. Ooh, there's a neat mine shaft. A deep one. Put a torch there. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Very close. So, I'll build a little house here. Get some wood. And. Wood. If not, there's plenty of trees. And I'll start over here. Seven. face out toward the ocean. So, do I got any cobble? Yes, I do have some cobble, so let me swap that out here. Go. No, I changed my mind on that. Little windows there, and three windows back here, and some nice picture windows over here. I have to figure out how to uh, make glass panes now. One, two, three. I don't know if I like this. I'm gonna have to break that one out. And then do the same over here. Let me. I'm almost not even worth it. down a tree. There's a nice one. Got it. Got the whole thing. There we 
go. Now, make some more wood planks. And... Then I want to... Um, Since it's getting dark, let me go ahead and make a door. Oh, that's not going to work. Let me throw down my crafting table. Now I can make a door. So, I'm going to go over here to this corner. And... bed somehow. Will it go down in here? It should go in there just like that. Now let's see if I wake up with a skeleton in my room. No, I didn't. Alright, good. So, haha. <laughs> Keys are stuck. There we go. It's unstuck. All right. I um, should have made this one wider, I think. Oh well. Not going to worry about it right now. Like I said, it's the first house for 1.8. down and get some more stone kind of want to make a stone pickaxe that's dangerous down here Light this up just a little bit. Not going to explore it too much. Just going to worry about getting my house done here. So, I think I'm going to make the roof out of logs. So, let me... Let me go over here, first of all, and... Start on the floor. With some of the stone I've got. And then I'll chop down a tree or two. Let's get some of the shorter ones. So I um, don't have to worry about getting the whole thing. 
I don't like to leave partial trees around. I like to get the whole thing. I like to get the saplings. Um, replant later. Maybe make a tree farm underground. But I want to make this roof out of these logs. So. It's going to be real simple. There we go. Oh my. Wooden axe went away. Going to go down here. Get some more stone. Lots of resources. Lots and lots of resources. So that's kind of cool. Just seems like there's more in 1.8 than uh, I've seen in the past. Could be a little confirmation bias there. I don't know. But uh, let me... Uh, Get some of this. Go over here. Get this crafting bench up. Put it in a little bit better place. There we go. And I'm going to, uh, oh yeah, make an axe. Stone axe. So, and let's go ahead and make a stone pickaxe because my wooden pickaxe has almost had it. Not that it's very good anyway, but there you have it. And then the rest of this um, stone, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the floor. Very cool. I've never really made a wooden home, even in when I very first started making or playing Minecraft. Um, my very first home was a cobblestone home. Uh, I think I slept underground or or uh, hid out in the mine my first night, and then. Um, So this will be my first wooden, it's not my first wooden home, uh, I actually did build a wooden home and complete with a fireplace and uh, so as pretty much as soon as I finished it, it burned down because the last thing I did was a fireplace and so uh, I didn't know about the how fireplaces worked in, in Minecraft. So. Uh, I didn't know how fire worked in Minecraft, so I was so I learned a lesson there, you know. <laughs> but it, uh, it, yeah, it burned down, so that was a little bit disappointing. It burned down my beautiful wooden house, and I did have a video of it. I'm not sure if I still have that video or not. I may have deleted it for. Uh, space purposes uh, I posted it up uh, on YouTube but at that time I was um, I had music playing in the background of a lot of my videos and uh, I was afraid that I would I would get into some kind of copyright infringement trouble so I really didn't want to deal with that so I took those any of those videos down that had the the music playing in the background um, I, I went ahead and took them down so that uh, I wouldn't have to deal with the uh, 
copyright because I've already, I already, I've already had one video where they removed the um, the audio, and it, it worked out okay. I mean, because that that it, there was no other audio on that video; it was just the music that I had set to it, and uh, I did not have the permissions for that music, so. Um, I ended up selecting one of the uh, freebie YouTube provided tracks that uh, m you know met the length requirements for for my video. So um, but anyway, when I first started doing Minecraft videos, I just had some music playing in the background and decided that I wouldn't uh, didn't want to go through the trouble of all that so I took took down, took down those videos and that's alright so get a little bit more stone here and head back up See if I can finish out this floor with what I've got. That'd be nice if I could, and I can. So sweet. And then let's see. Oh, I need some more wood. Don't need much more. Just a little bit. So let me, me kind of climb up in this tree a little bit. I might have enough uh, logs to finish what I've got going on here, and I do. Sweet. So let me go out here and get this one log. There we go. And get this door and put it in here. Cool. And I want to get just a little bit more stone. It's starting to get dark again. I'm a little bit scared to uh, build an oven and cook up some stuff. Uh, I'd like to make some glass panes. I'm not really sure how to make the glass panes, so I'll probably have to stop and look that one up. Uh, whoops. But it's getting dark again, and I'm wondering... I've got holes all in this house, so I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to uh, sleep. Let's give it a try. Get my sword ready. Hey, it worked. I guess skeletons can't get through this, and neither can zombies. Only spiders can get through this. So, uh... Maybe they won't come after me. So let's go over here. Collect these saplings. And get some sand. Because... I know that I will need some sand... To make glass panes. So, well, I, I assume I will need sand to make glass panes. I, I guess I don't want to say that I know that definitively um, just yet. Oh, wow, clay. Clay is so much more common in, in 1.8 than it is in uh, 1. 1.7 and earlier is. What? Oh, I thought that was a melon there for a second. Yeah, I'm really uh, surprised a little bit and and actually a little bit happy. I like to make things out of red bricks, so. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Oops! I wasn't paying attention to my bubbles there and I almost died 
So I got quite a bit of sand. I'm going to go and look at the Minecraft wiki and see if I can figure out glass panes. Glass pane. If I can figure out how to make Oh, 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 interesting. So let's, whoops, let's uh, go back over to my house. Look at these saplings. Go over here to my house. Going to having some difficulties here. Gonna make one chest and place that chest down right about here. And then I'm going to make a, you know what, let me, this will be neat. Put it there at the end of my bed. <laughs> so, kind of like a footlocker. I don't like where this is at either. I want to put it over in the corner. There we go. And then I'm going to put going to make a furnace so let me go over here make a furnace and then I'm going to put all of this junk in here except for that Because apparently the furnace um, makes the game crash. Although it is not crashing for me just yet. So I'm going to let that cook for a minute. Go down here. I think I can spare a pickaxe. If the game crashes and I lose everything, I don't think I'll lose everything though. I think the game just crashes and you have to log back in. But that's alright. And uh, this is beta, which is, I mean, you kind of expect to have problems um, with a beta game, so, uh, or I do anyway. I guess because they're charging money for it, and uh, and it's so popular, they're trying to to make it so that um, it does work. You know, it does function uh, at a higher level of reliability than you would normally expect out of uh, beta software. Like uh, Google uh, does the same thing. You know, they they have a lot of stuff in beta that uh, performs uh, pretty well uh, and doesn't have a lot of problems and people because people rely on it uh, whether that's uh, a good thing or a bad thing I don't know but uh, I've done it in the past and I've also been burned by uh <laughs> so burned by that let's let's test this out hey neat Neato. Let's do more than one at a time. Cool. Very cool. Oh, I like this. Very cool. I like the window panes. It's, it allows you to to allows your glass to go a lot farther. Allows it to go a lot farther. I mean, just look at that. That's six pieces of glass and I've filled out all these windows with some extra left over so that's cool I like that 
This is still burning over here. Is it going to crash the game when it goes out? There's at some point it crashes the game, or at least that's what people say. So I don't really know. Oh, you know what? I need to. I do need to light it up in here just a little bit. So let me. It never crashed. Okay. Well, that's good. So put some torches there, there, there. And that's good for now. Maybe one here, one here, one here, one here. So get it nice and bright in here. There we go. And I'll put some on the outside too. Yeah, I like that. Put those out there. And ooh, I'd like to put some around the edge maybe up here. Don't have quite enough. Let's go again and see what I got going on here. Got plenty of those. Got some sticks. Got enough for one on each corner now. And let me make a couple of pressure plates. Because I'm always afraid that I'm going to forget to open my door, so. or forget to close it, so, let's see here, can I, ah, cool, got it, and one more, got it. And I'm going to have to do something different here. Uh, there we go. Oh, no. Ah, not working out well for me on that one. <laughs> Can I bust that one off of there? Oh, yes. Get my block back here. And do it one more time. Be a little bit more careful this time. There we go. So that's cool. Took care of that. Very neat. Probably should have put the door on the other end so that I wasn't coming out right in front of this ravine. But uh, I kind of want to look toward the ocean over there and look out at the ravine. Maybe get some dirt, fill that in, have kind of a little tunnel going under there or something. But uh, I will go down here and go ahead and place some torches down since I've got a few extra. And so way back up here. Go in here. So I've got any, yeah, I've got 60 blocks of dirt. Plenty of dirt to. Uh, Plenty of dirt to uh, fill this in, make it look nice, and until the creeper's come and bomb it anyway. But uh, <laughs> not a big fan of creepers, really. Uh, I have a multiplayer server I've been playing around a little bit with, and I basically turned the creeper explosions off um, because it's just so annoying. It's ridiculous. For some reason, they just seem so much more annoying on multiplayer than they do on single player. But, uh. Moon's coming up. Moonrise. Over the ocean. The vast ocean. Uh, who knows how vast it is? I've seen some huge oceans uh, online. People with oceans that are literally uh, thousands of blocks uh, and in all directions. Some people um, 
coming out of the nether especially people who are who have built portals way out in the nether and uh, when they pop out uh, they're getting new terrain generated and they're popping out in the middle of an ocean and there's nothing for thousands of miles thousands of blocks in any direction it's just a one lone um, one lone uh, nether portal out in the middle of the ocean so uh, that's kind of funny uh, so I'm hoping that uh, with that that that's either a glitch <laughs> or uh, if it's an intended if it, I can't believe how well this is lit up with just like four torches it's it's, unre it's unreal I got I mean that's that's nice of course I do have the brightness set to uh, uh, full bright so if we kind of move it down to moody let's see what that looks like that's that's more like what I would have expected uh, I, I think the moody setting is more uh, more in line with with the old version of Minecraft Go in here and sleep. Wow, this video is going to be incredibly long. I'm definitely going to have to uh, break it up into multiple parts. I, I I guess I don't have to, but um, I probably should. Got all kinds of neat stuff around here, though. Something just died over there. I'm almost out of food. I wonder what happens when I run out of food. See my food bar is starting to shake just a little bit. And I, I, I kind of want it to run out so that I can... See what happens. Do you start to die? Starve to death, basically? That would be kind of neat. I mean, not in real life, but uh, in the game, if you run out of food to uh, starve to death. So I think I'm going to keep playing here just until I run out of food. So uh, let me sprint. I should. Why am I not sprinting? Oh, you know what? I don't have enough food to sprint, I don't think. I guess once uh, once you get down below a certain amount, it, don't, it won't allow you to um, sprint anymore. I guess trying to conserve energy. Now that's pretty neat. There's a little hole in that mountain over there. Oh, that's where it's not loading in. Huh? There's still some something there. I don't know. Oh, but getting back to the oceans, I'm wondering if that's a neat little bay there. Nice shallow bay. I'm wondering with the oceans if they're going to uh, somehow improve boats or make ships or something like that because. Uh, four block tall, naturally four block tall reeds. You don't see that every day. Um, I'm wondering if they're going to make ships or some other kind of persistent boat thing, something a little bit better than the boats that, that we have now. Because um, with with uh, oceans being that big thousands of blocks long I mean that's uh, that's a lot you know that's a lot of territory to cover so I'm wondering if they're planning something that would be really neat I think to have a have a boat ship something like that that uh, you know building a boat yard or something I, I don't know but <laughs> um it would definitely be cool to uh, 
to have something like that, I think. You know, I want to make a lever, le a lever, a button, a button of some kind. Let me get that, put one piece of coal in there, get some stuff cooking. And I want to make a button. Because I want to be able to uh, press that button and open my door. So, let's see. How do I do this? Like that. Alright, cool. So let's go out here. And where do I put the button? Right there? Can I put it there? Yep. Cool. Very cool. So, an egg. Gotta gather those eggs. Having good luck with the eggs. Ah. Put my egg away. I wonder if jumping a lot makes your food go down faster. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. It does. It do you start to starve to death. So let's eat something. Here we go. Get a little nom nom going on. Let's go kill some pigs. Come here, piggy. You're gonna die. There we go. Yeah, that definitely adds an another dimension to the game. Because uh, now you have to worry about starving to death. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. I mean, uh. I love how the animals run away from you now. <laughs> Instead of just looking up at you with those big sad eyes as you murder them. Come on, pig. As much as I chased that one around, I would have expected to get two pork chops. There's an ocean pig out there. They're crafty too. Let's see if I get enough health back here. Not quite enough health back to. Uh... Oh yeah. I wonder how. I don't know how. Uh... I don't know how that works the health fully. And when I come back, pig. There we go. Do I got enough sword to get one more pig? Yeah. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> uh, that little animation's pretty neat. I like that. That's fun. All right. Well, here I am in 1.8. I've got my house. Um, got some eggs. <laughs> Can I eat this? No, it won't let me eat it. But then again, my food is full, and I'm not sure that I want to eat it. I've heard that it's poisonous. So, uh, anyway, rotten flesh. That's 1.8. I'm Joey. Had a lot of fun building my little house here. Exploring a little... And hopefully I get to explore a little bit more. So, um, peace out, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.